Liam, a nice end to the season all in, really. The crowds have stayed around to, to show their appreciation and, and likewise, we've been quite happy with what we've seen here. Yeah, uh, it was a brilliant day, to be honest with you, after what's been a really tough season. Um, the last couple of months were really uh, united on and off the pitch and to have a, a celebration, if you like, um, not of the season because it's been disappointing in terms of uh, position we finished, but celebration and how we've become united again and uh, signed off John O'Shea in, in a very fashionable way, so it was a good day. Like a few months back, you wouldn't necessarily have thought this would be the case with have everyone sort of celebrating like a, like a party really for where we are, but that's, uh, as you say, it shows um, what the last few months have meant to everybody. Yeah, uh, we've got to be realistic, that's where we've been at this season. Um, you know, we was we was under it a lot, to be honest with you. I felt that we, we had a really big possibility of going down. Uh, everyone realised that. And we dug in. We wasn't particularly playing our best football. And we maybe not hit the heights that we can this season at all. But, you know, um, we've dug in. And, yeah, we, we, we've done it together. You mentioned John O'Shea, just over your shoulder there. He's, uh, what a career he's had. It's been such a pleasure to, I think you had him captain down back at the end there. Everyone welcome on that. To that guard of honour. What a... What a pleasure it must have been to play alongside him. Yeah, um, what a legend, honestly. Uh, he's one of the best guys I've met off the pitch and what a fantastic career off it. Uh, I came up with the idea, I think it was Friday, about the guard of honour, we need to do something special. It speaks volumes of what, it, what he's like as a guy, because he spoke to their captain uh, before the game and he was all for it, he's played with him. And, you know, to get uh, two teams stand and, and clap you on the pitch, it's, it's stuff of dreams, you know, it, it speaks of his career and how well he's done. On the other end of the spectrum, people just starting their career. There's a lot of young boys from our academy in the squad today, and the debut until you have. It's uh, a lot of like energy and youthful kind of guile in the squad, isn't it? Yeah, um, you know they've done okay. Um, they've got a bit to learn still, but they know that um, they're both uh, the ones that started today. Very talented boys. Um, we've got the world at their feet when they've got the ball. It's the other side uh, when they haven't. We've been working on it with them. Uh, the manager will persist in working it. At it with them, if they show the right um, attitude, then I'm sure they'll get many more games. And lastly, I think probably the best thing about sort of today and having this kind of atmosphere around the ground is that you can go into someone just sort of looking forward to getting back. I mean, it must be a totally different feeling because I know that last year, this time last year, it wasn't that much fun, was it? Because the crowd wasn't necessarily sticking around for it, whereas this is totally different. Absolutely. Uh, it was difficult last year. Uh, there wasn't many people on our lap round, and probably rightly so. Uh, we wasn't safe. We put up a terrible performance against Ip Ipswich. Um, and then it speaks volumes today with the lap of honour of pretty much a, a full capacity. It shows where we're at right now in terms of the, the, the unity between us and the fans um, and more of the same, please, next season. And hopefully a little chance for get a holiday in or something in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I can't wait. I'm um, a few weeks away. I uh, can't wait to switch off physically and mentally. It's been a tough season. Um, let the body rest and come back refreshed. Enjoy your rest. Thanks, Thank you.